it's Pelle here from Editing Visuals and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make the CRT reverse effect in After Effects. And this video idea came to mind when I realized that it's over a year since we released our most popular tutorial, the CRT tutorial. So this is another version of that tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys. Let's get right into the tutorial here. So we're going to start off by importing our clip here. I'm using a clip from a Donut Hollerverse music video, No Idea. And uh, when you have chosen your clip, you're basically going to drink water, because stay hydrated. You're basically going to add a adjustment layer and we're going to add that by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. And now we're going to start by adding the effects. The first effect we're going to be adding is called Mosaic. It's going to look something like this here and we're going to change the horizontal and the vertical blocks amount. And they're both going to be 250. Just like that. We basically just add that to drag down the resolution with a effect. After that we're going to be adding Sapphire TV damage. And here we're going to drag down the reception master to 0 0.17. We're going to drag up the color stripe amplitude to 0 0.3. The fast forward amount to 0 0.35. And the tape dropout brightness to 0 0.1. The next effect we're going to be adding is grid. Here we're going to start off by changing the size from to width and height sliders. After that set the width and height to 6. So it looks something like this here. After that I'm going to set the border to 2. Change the color to black and then set the blending mode to overlay. And we will get this look here. Pretty cool. After that add the deep low. And here we're going to drag up the radius to 750. And for the next effect we're going to be adding CC lens. And this CC lens effect is basically going to make the like curvature of the screen we want to have. So it's basically going to make the CRT look more realistic. And we're going to increase the size to 300. And then the convergence to minus 200. After that, add the transform. Set the scale to 117. So now we got a full screen here. And the last effect, it's optional, but I like to add a post rise time to get that kind of laggy look to it. And this is how our effect looks now. It looks super sick in my opinion. And if you guys like this type of effect here, we have a TV glitch pack V2 on our website. And I'm going to be showing you guys how the effect looks there i'm just going to drag in the third effect from the pack so this is the type of effect you get from the tv glitch pack v2 this is the third effect as i said and this is super super cool look in my opinion and we actually have a discount code for you guys and it's going to be pelle if you use that one you will save five dollars if you like this tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe and share the video and don't forget to check out our website if you really want to step up your editing this is the kind of effects you're getting there it's super cool in my opinion and uh, also don't forget to check out our socials and the discord server and I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.